Have you ever had your mind blown? If not, I think it's time I've shown you something. The United States has conducted a subcritical nuclear test for the first time in almost two years. Officials with the National Nuclear Security Administration said scientists carried out the test at a site in the state of Nevada. The scientists wanted to examine how plutonium reacts to forces produced by chemical high explosives, but their experiment did not produce a nuclear chain reaction explosion. Government leaders declared in 1992 that they would suspend tests that include nuclear explosions, but they permitted such subcritical tests which are allowed under the Comprehensive Nuclear Test Ban Treaty. U.S. President Barack Obama has said he'll pursue a nuclear-free world, but American scientists have conducted several subcritical tests during his presidency. And people in Hiroshima and Nagasaki, the cities that experienced the atomic bombings in 1945, criticized the tests. I wonder why President Obama decided to conduct the test. He should take to heart the feelings of the residents of Hiroshima. I feel sad that Americans still don't understand how we survivors feel. We are not submitting protest letters for no reason. U.S. scientists have carried out 27 subcritical tests. They say the experiments are necessary to maintain the safety and effectiveness of nuclear weapons.